What's up y'all, this is Go Shoot Dude here, and today is our review on the bootleg Die Boken from, uh, from the Super Sentai series um, uh, Bokenja, and um, this is the bootleg edition, so this is uh, episode 2. So this is in trailer mode, I just want to show it off to get out of the way, it's kind of useless. So yeah, there it is, trailer mode. You got gyro on top, you got formula um, on the bottom carrying um, uh, dump and doza and merino sitting in the back. And to compare to the American one, I only have some parts from the American one since I got this one at a drift store. So it is a little bit smaller. The American version and the bootleg version. I do like the bootleg version better because it's more show accurate, uh, sadly. I mean, this thing is just sticking out too much. And I will not be able to review this, but this is my only time to show it. So, yeah. So, let's get them into the individual vehicles. Here is Gyro. And they don't have no numbers on them, sadly. Got a little cr gold chrome on the, um, the gun turrets right here. I guess these can be used as turrets or boosters on the back. So yep. Yeah. Here is a formula. Just rip this down. <coughs> Slide this in place, and there's formula. It's like an armored car uh, formula racer. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, a little bit too much blue. Sadly, it should be all black, but whatever. Here is Marine, which does have the claws that can flip forward. There's no pink on this whatsoever, but just red, and black, and white. So, yep. And here is uh, Dozer. Just for the show out and for the turn around. So it has twin cannon turrets and an removable shove arm. So it's no bulldozer. And last but not least, here is a dump. Go go dump, actually. So, yeah, I'm missing one of those things in the front. I have no idea where it went. So, yeah. So it's all there. Does not even roll that good. And this will nice to come off a lot. So forgive me if it does come off. And uh, what is it? Here we go. And the weapons can still store on the sides. To show you real quick. There, see, it stays on the same way on the other side. So let's make them into um, die Boken. So just unlock. Oh, also forgot to tell you this one does have the uh, the two um, arms in the back. So yeah, it does work like that. So let's see. Undo this. Undo all that, and then put these back and snap them in. Get them up, fold these in, or you can fold them just leave them out like this so you can stand up, but he doesn't need it. So we got that part done. Go up here. Come on. The camera's not staying in balance. There we go. I knew it was going to fall. Okay, hold on a second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get up there. Stay, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you want to open up the grill up front right here. Like so. And that folds back like so. And then push this whole section down. And you guys have... You got to look at the head real quick. Looks good. Full bootleg. Okay, so we get um, formula, 
we put them back like he was in trail mode and that would be the chest piece so it just sticks on like that you get Doza open up the treads it has a yellow hand on the inside flip that out flip the, I like to flip the gun on the side and the shovel do something like this so yeah looks looks like it's all all good <coughs> next is Marine and all you have to do with her is need the claws out like this bend them this way so you get the plug right here and the fist just goes in like that has a white fist so there you go and the final piece is gyro you can go on the back right here get gyro you um, the um, the the rotators um, you want to flip them up like this and then put it on the back There you go. And the final piece to this Megazord combination will be adding the helmet. Just strain out the rockets on the side and prop it on there. And then you have Die Boken, which is awesome. I like this bootleg, it's very good, it's kind of like the Japanese pretty much, it has all the um, f flexibility of it, except for the arms, because for some reason the arms do not ratchet at all, I feel like I'm going to break them, so I had to take them out and then position them the way I want them, so yeah, that's the bad part about the bootleg, uh, but the legs are fully movable. They're supposed to be. And they can bend that much, and they can go up that high, and that's it. <coughs> oh, and his head can turn. Also, can turn all the way around, but I'm not going to right now. So he can hold um, the weapons like the pickaxe and the shovel. And he's ready to go get some treasure. And to defeat the giant monsters or the kaijus, you get the shovel piece, fold it up like this, and then you get the oh no, I'm sorry, the pickaxe. I'm sorry, get the pickaxe, fold it up like that. The shovel, put it in, and there you go. Boom. So now you have him with the shovel. Let's see, if I can get. I'm looking good pose because the arms kind of weigh it down and it moves this back piece. So yeah, I mean there's nothing knocking it in in place. So put it like that, and he's ready to go in town and take out that monster. So yeah, this is part one of episode two of Daiboken. I got this guy in a set of of 10 so <coughs> next will be uh, s um, I guess Super Diboken I think that's what's called and then what will be the one that Jet is that will be part 3 so stay tuned for more stuff for me from Go Shoot, uh, Go Shoot Dude and I'll catch you guys later